when you have a contracting risk in Louisiana as we go in and we negotiate on the front end to have an LOIA endorsement that a, a Marcel, kind of a blanket Marcel endorsement that the contractor can declare specific operators to as they enter into MSAs with them where the operator wants to take advantage of the Marcel exception. So we have a blanket endorsement. Something else you need to have in there if you're going to adopt a Marcel strategy where, you're, where your operators are paying the, the additional premiums is you also need to have a primary insurance clause in place so you don't have two insurers uh, trying to look at each other and maybe trying to invoke other insurance clauses. The actual premium um, needs to be set by the insurer. We see, we personal experience is you've, we've, operator wants to do the Marcel, you've gone and you tell them, okay, here's the price and the, the operator comes back to the contractor and says, that's too much. See if they'll take a thousand dollars. Well, that, that runs contrary to, contrary to the exception because the premium needs to be set by the insurer, not negotiated by the additional insured and his broker. I think what this does, when, when you do have a, a blanket Marcel program in place in your name and operators from the contractor's point of view, is it, does, it creates a false sense of security because they think if they do everything right that they have fail-safe protection. Um, and that, that doesn't always seem to be the case, especially when you're de dealing with insurance companies you have no control over what we see as, in the insurance company world, the, the wall between claims and underwriting becoming thicker and taller, and Mr. Underwriter may have meant to give that endorsement, but Mr. Claims guy, he doesn't want to pay the claim. So there's a false sense of security because you have underwriters you can't control, you also have courts you can't control. Two significant variables out there.